Welcome back friends. In this tutorial, I will be telling you how you can install Java in your own system. For this, just go on to Google and you just have to type Oracle Java okay, download. After this, what you will see, you will see Oracle website over here. After this, you can just click on this website. After clicking on website, you will be given many versions out here. On then you can just scroll as of now we will be using Java 8 so you can see here Java SE 8 on this you just have to go JDK download click on this JDK download as soon as you will click it will ask you as you will move down which operating system you want and then you can go further in this video we will be studying about or we will be knowing how to install or set up Java in your system so you can see this is the java is directly we can download it it is an open source free to download so we directly can jump onto the oracle website and from here you can see i went to the oracle java technologies and here i selected java development toolkit i have to install the java se development kit for it if you want a higher version you can go for it it is not an issue but as of now we can let's start with the java 8 version here you can see as I scroll down in the window, you can see there are many for your or you have to select your own operating system you are using if you are using Linux so you can go for the Linux if you are going for the Macintosh or Solaris or Windows 10 it's up to you all the versions are given. After this you just have to like my is Windows 10 so I will just go for my Windows operating system and here I just have to click I review and accept the Oracle technology network agreement and after that the download will start. As soon as the download will start, we just have to log in also. Okay, so with, you have to create an account. If you don't have, you can create an account here. Or if you have your existing account, you can just directly put in your username and your password. So just give me a second. I will put back and revert back to you. So you can see just I have hit my credentials. You can see here in the down, the download has started as soon as you will enter your login and the ID. After this, what you have to do as soon as this login is, you have to open your JDK and it will ask do you want to install in your device you say yes and then after clicking on this you just click on yes and you just have to wait for a second and you can see the installation process has started you just have to click on the next after the next it will start preparing to install you just have to say yes you have to include all the development tools and then go for the next you can see in the progress that your java installation has started and the green bar will move as the progress will go on so let's wait for a while and get the java install get installed in a program so yes you can see now all the status the java has been installed in my computer and we have to wait for a second i will get back to you once the installation is complete so dear friends you can see that after been installing it is asking me for which destination folder you want your, your entire java file should be stored i recommend that you should go for the c disk only because all your previous software are been installed there so let's go and go for the c only without any changes and you can see here now the final installation process has begun so you can see here it is basic java has been for 25 years it has been developed by oracle and number one development platform let's wait another for a few minutes and let's come back to it so after the installation has been done you have to go to your local disk in your C program and here you can have your program files and you have to see which version of Java you have installed into 86 bit or 64 bit. So I have installed my 86 bit so after 86 go to the Java folder after the Java folder you just have to click on this bin and where you get this bin you just have to copy this entire address you can see I am copying this entire address because we have to set up Java for our program for our entire De device so we have to give a variable environment variable to it after this you have to click on the properties on my computer right click after on the properties as soon as the properties are been opened what you have to go we have to look for here go down and go to the advanced settings you can see advanced system segments as soon as this opens up you have to go and click on this environment variable you can see here environment variables you have to click on this button as soon as this button opens up you have to create a new environment variable for your computer so that the, you, whenever you run Java, it is been accessible from any point. So you have to create a new, you can give this name as Java path, any name you can give and the variable value what I have copied from that C disk bin, Java bin, just paste it here. After you have paste, click OK 
After clicking on OK, you can see Java path variable name has been created with its value given. OK, after this just click on OK and then apply these settings, go OK, that's it, you are done. And now after setting the Java variable, you need to check whether you have done your entire thing successfully or not. For that, click on the CMD, on the CMD, now you just have to open CMD command prompt or you can say opening on command prompt you just have to write this statement java c if java would have been installed properly without any mistake in your system then the entire java documentation will appear on the command prompt and just press enter i will press enter and you can see the entire documentation would appear here so you can see we are done and our java has been installed successfully in the computer very simple so i hope you would be able to install java 2 in your system as well for the tutorials, I will be using Eclipse IDE. So, I will be showing you how you can also install Eclipse IDE in your system. So, what you have to do, you just have to write Eclipse in this and then you will see Eclipse downloads. Just click on this Eclipse download and we will be going only for the Java version because we don't know, we don't need as of now C++. Okay, so you just have to go and click here and you will see within few seconds your download you just have to click another over here and your download will start um, you can see you can just allow your cookies and as of now we don't want to donate anything okay and it's just moving and you can see here the download has been started in the leftmost corner so just we will wait for the download to finish and then i will come back again Great friends, as you can see here in the leftmost corner, our Java installation has been downloaded. We just have to just click on this and you will see your installation window will pop up within few seconds. And let's see where is the pop up. It must be loading. You can see here, um, we have to wait for the installation to begin. And let me just close this also and you will see here within few moments the installation will pop up. Yes, and you can see on the screen the installation window has been pop up on the screen. It will take few moments and it will start. So it will ask me what you want to download. You just have to go for Eclipse ID for Java developers or if you want to develop many applications that are requiring internet access like dynamic applications. So you can go for the IDB for enterprise and Java web development you can click on this it's very easy and as soon you just have to give your locations locations are already predefined you just have to click on install and then installation will take place make sure you have connected internet because installation will take place directly from the website and it will take around i believe 15 minutes to install depending upon your connectivity and your processor speed so i will just come back as soon as the installation will be completed Great friend, now our installation has been done and you can see here we have a shortcut also on my window has been appeared. You just have to right click on this and it will start opening. As soon as it will open, you just have to wait for a few moments to open. Okay, so it will just open and okay, so it's starting. We have to wait for it to load. So yes, that's it and that was my program that I have already written. So this was our Eclipse ID installation. I hope you will be able to install your Eclipse as soon as possible.